uh, honorable members. Parliament is currently working on a legislation dubbed the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Bill 2023 that intends to, among others, legalize the use of narcotic drugs, specifically cut, for its alleged medical value. Already, there are some cabinet members who have openly come out to throw their weight behind this bill due to different reasons. In our circumstances, cut has become Eked by this move, some private sector players have come out to warn Parliament against passing this bill, terming it as a threat to the sanity levels of the future generation. Members of the Addiction, Prevention and Rehabilitation Association of Uganda, APRAW, are the latest to offer advocacy, decampaigning the bill with the argument that even the alleged medical benefits from these narcotics are far-fetched. Now research shows that for marijuana to be effe effective, effective as a, a drug, uh, first of all, let me, talk, let me say there are two components of marijuana. There is what we call THC, which is the psychoactive substance, and this is what actually affects people's minds and is responsible for all the mayhem you see. Then there's a part of marijuana called CBD, that is uh, the medicinal bit. But they said that if this, the CBD is to be effective, it has to work uh, in correspondence with at least 1% of the THC. Now the marijuana we have on our streets today is 25% THC. That is why you, if you go to any treatment center, you'll find that the biggest percentage of people there that are having uh, drug-induced psychosis or mental illness are there as a, as a result of using cannabis. Government has not come up to tell us whether there are any plans maybe to legalize a particular strain. It is just what we call Kayola. APRAW contends that it behoves Parliament to protect Ugandans, faulting proponents of the narcotic bill as self-seekers with total disregard to the health of others. Members of APRAW call upon the Parliament of Uganda to exercise its duty by enacting a law that serves the best interests of, public, of the public, specific considerations to the adverse effects of marijuana and cuts on public health, on the youth, on the general public. We urge them to put health of our people ahead of commercial interests of individual actors or individual participants. Citing the disease burden of Uganda that currently is beyond the threshold, members of the Addiction, Prevention and Rehabilitation Association of Uganda are worried that if the bill is passed, the situation might worsen. The ease of access is going to increase. It will be acceptable for people to experiment. We know that young people who experiment with marijuana, most of them end up addicted because of the early introduction to this, to this substance. <clears throat> and so we are saying that we shouldn't add to an already bad situation. This also registered their concerns on legalizing the growing of marijuana, citing it as a catalyst of drug abuse, which is already at an alarming rate. If you're doing a business, opening a business, you go out there and make it available and sell it, and people get used to it, they say, okay, I, I, I could use this because it's available. So let's th think about that. Addiction, Prevention and Rehabilitation Association of Uganda that brings together counseling psychologists, addiction professionals, and recovery coaches is known for offering treatment and rehabilitation services to victims of drug abuse. Dokas Kimono, UBC TV News.